Hello everyone. Welcome to my tutorial on IAAS, SAAS and PAAS. Before I start my tutorial, I'm a blogger and I write my blog at techieandtravel.com. Do check it out. Also, I have a YouTube channel and I post my contents on technology and hot topics in technology regularly. So do check it out and like, share and subscribe my channel if you like it. So let's start with the overview. In this tutorial, we'll cover the traditional infrastructure model as a service concept, what IAAS, SAAS and PAS means and the benefits of this model. In a traditional infrastructure, we have servers, storage and networking as the three components that are backbone of any infrastructure for running applications and workloads. When you have a hardware on site, it's your responsibility to manage the entire infrastructure. You are responsible for updating or replacing the components as well. You are responsible for server patching and OS upgrade. So basically, you manage everything related to the infrastructure from servers to networking to storage to applications. So how does infrastructure as a service Platform as a service and software as a service replace these conventional data center hosting concepts. Let's talk about that. In infrastructure as a service, we have applications, data, runtime, middleware, and operating system that has to be managed. Backend infrastructures like servers, storage, and networking, they are managed by the cloud service provider. So the provider maintains the entire infrastructure for servers, storage and networking. Customers have virtual access to these components via API or web interface. So IAS customers use hardware via internet connection and they pay for that use on a subscription basis or pay as you go basis. So IAS provides the flexibility to only purchase the needed components. So you don't have to pay upfront cost on the entire infrastructure but rather pay the components that you use. You have the opportunity to scale the infrastructure up or scale it down depending on the traffic load. Some examples of IAS providers are Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. There are a lot of other providers as well. Now, let's look at another service called PAAS or Platform as a Service. It is a service model where provider hosts the hardware and software on its infrastructure and delivers this platform to the user in an integrated solution or service through the internet connection. That means the provider is responsible for the operating system, middleware, and runtime. As a user, you are just responsible for applications and data. User access the PAS through graphical user interface or GUI and is primarily useful for developers and programmers. This platform as a service allows users to develop, run and manage their applications without having to build and maintain the infrastructure or platform that is associated with this process. So you basically write the code, build and manage your applications but you do it without the headache of software update or backend hardware maintenance. So this environment to build and deploy is provided to you by the platform provider. Some examples of platform as a service includes AWS Beanstalk, Red Hat OpenShift, Google App Engine, etc. Some benefits of PaaS are that it allows customer to build test, deploy, run, update, and scale applications more quickly and cost-effectively. It enables your development teams to spin up the development, testing, and production environment in minutes rather than having to do it in weeks or months when they had to set up the entire infrastructure. And it also allows companies to test the operating system languages and other tools without having to make substantial investment in them. It provides a more scalable approach as well because organizations they can purchase the additional capacity for building testing staging and running applications whenever they need it so let's look at another important service called software as a service or SaaS. 
SaaS is an on-demand access to ready-to-use cloud-hosted application software. So it can be thought of as a cloud application services. So user can use a complete application from a web browser, desktop client, or their mobile application. That means in software as a service, you don't have to worry about data or application because third party provider or vendor delivers the entire application to you and you can access it via web browser. So you don't have to worry about the software update, bug fixes, etc. And user just connects to the app via dashboard or the API. So anyone who uses a smartphone has suddenly used some form of SaaS in day to day life like you have used your Gmail or Outlook, any social media, cloud file storage services like Dropbox as well. So the benefits of software as a service would be that all infrastructure and application management is left to the SaaS vendor. All users have to do is create an account pay the fee and start using the applications and vendor handles the maintenance of hardware and software. So this is it on the concept of IAS, PAAS and SaaS. Do follow my channel for other updates on technology and if you like my channel, please like, share, subscribe it.